hungry little kookaburra? Hmm? Would you like some dinner? There you go. How's your baby doing? Hmm? This one's got a baby in the nest. I don't know whether it's the mum or the dad. But he eats, or she eats, and then takes a big full and flies off over the fence to the nest. Oh, you're hungry, aren't you? Are you going to leave anything for the baby? Hmm? There's not much left. Look. You know, don't forget to keep some. Was that a big bit, is it? You are hungry, aren't you? Gulp. Hmm, hello. What are you looking at me like that for? You're not leaving much behind. Hmm, for the baby. Couldn't you find any food today? You're going to keep that one for the baby, are you? Hmm? He's thinking about it. Very tempted to eat some more though, aren't you? I think you should probably take it to your baby though. Hmm? You're going to call the others? There he goes. couple of lorikeets. Oh, sorry. Lorries, did I scare you away? What are you going to do, Cookie? Are you going to come back? <clears throat> Sitting over in the tree up there. Not quite sure what he's going to do. What are you doing? Having a think about it, are you? No, he's off. All right. Taking that piece to the baby. Oh well, he'll be back soon. See you later. G'day guys, welcome back. Doing another swipe for you. But this one, I'm gonna do a little practice uh, with the colors because uh, some of you may know that my daughter Gemma's moved into my granny flat down downstairs and she's picked mustard as her like pop color so the walls are gray the furniture's gray got light timbers in there on the floors um, but she's picked mustard so I'm thinking I'll do a painting that's got some grays black silver and mustard so the mustard I've chosen is this one it's called yellow okra it's kind of a mustardy colour and that's their Montmartre Studio Acrylic. And I've put down a charcoal base which is basically just black with a little bit of white in it obviously to make a, a grey. It does look lighter at the moment because it's got the float troll in it but once it dries it should dry a bit darker. So the base is four parts float troll, that's four to one part paint because I want it nice and thin. The others are the silver, the um, mustard and the black are three parts flow troll to one part paint and the white is two to one. So that's that. Uh, the white one is my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. The black is also Artist Loft Flow Acrylic and the silver is just this Deco Art Silver. And those are my colours and I'm going to swipe with my little plastic cut out today. Right, oh, so the main colour can go there. I'm just going to put a little bit of each colour in, oops, dried paint, a little bit of in there because you don't need a lot at all and it's much easier pouring out of these little cups than it is um, pouring out of a big cup. So that's that one, that's the mustard there. This is a 30 by 40 centimetre card that I like to practice on. No point wasting a canvas. 
My silver didn't show up in the last painting. Maybe it's a bit on the thin side. All right, so those can just sit there for a minute while we cover this surface. I'll spread it out first and then I'll tilt it just to make sure it's nice and smooth. The um, metallics, when I do the background in a metallic, they're much more difficult to like get into a nice smooth consistency. They just feel all clumpy all the time, but hopefully this one will spread nicely. So I like to coat the whole thing and then just give it a bit of a, a tilt to make sure that everything's even. Because even if you go over it like that, it's still not necessarily evenly coated. All right, let's hang on to the, the corners. And you can see how, you can see the waves of paint. Still feels quite thick, doesn't it? You can see the, the waves there, how they're moving. Just try and help that a little bit. Go the other way. This corner here, I just need to smooth out that corner because I can see it's not as thick, not as thick as some as the other area. Just help that across. Paint still seems a little thick, doesn't it? It's not exactly flowing easily. All right, let's just bring that back to the middle a little bit. I think that looks about right. Okay, now, anyway, it's just a little practice just to see how these colors will go together if I need any more of anything. Now, because I've got a dark background, I'm starting with light. And what I think I'll do is, instead of piling everything on top of each other, I'm gonna do two little stripes and hopefully keep some of the charcoal in the middle. Let's go with some silver. Um, so, or maybe actually I'll put some black in the middle. Let's put some black in the middle because I like that. And some mustard. And then some mustard on that side. Oh, my black sunk, look at that, you can hardly see it. And then we'll do the silver on that side. Whoops, I've gone over the top. And the white, I'll just kind of drizzle the white over the top there somewhere. But my black's gone. Gone skis. Put a little bit more black on there. Okay, hopefully that will stay there. A little bit more mustard, I think. So I've got mustard on the top line on one and mustard on the bottom line on the other, just to have a little bit of a different look. And I've got my paper towel ready. So I'll swipe, go, oh, don't go into there. I'll swipe down and then I'll turn around and I'll swipe down the other way because I can't swipe away from me. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna try with, try and get some black in the center there. And then just sort of try and lift it up so I'm getting a little bit of this charcoal negative space here. I'll do some of the big ones and then I'll change it to do some of the little ones as well. Oh, that was a good one. I've got lots of negative space there. And that one I took all the way down. So I'll turn it around now and do some on the other side and then I'll come back and have a play with that one. Because I've actually got no mustard showing up yet. 
So over here, I'll see if I can drag the mustard over. Like so. I'm going to have to try and get some mustard on that side as well. Okay, so that's the big ones done. Now I'm going to go in between with some of the little ones. Now you can see, you can see the mustard's like disappeared there. So I'm going to have to put some back. I need a little bit more. So start off with a little bit of paint rather than too much because then you can always add more if you need to. So, and you can decide where you want to put it. So a little bit there. And then I'm going to swipe that. And then this little one I'm just going to use just there. Have a little play around with them. Introduce the mustard. I don't want too much mustard. I basically want grey, but just that little pop of mustard. And the same here. See, I need to put the mustard a little bit higher, hey? And I've got three different sizes of plastic. They're just document holders that were cut up. Nothing special about them. Now I do think I want a little bit more white down here. And the white is what gives us that gorgeous lacing too. So I've got white there and I've got some more white there and then I just need a little bit more of the mustard happening over here and then we should be pretty much right on this side okay oh loving that got just the right amount of cells too well actually no not cells it's more more of a lacing Okay, so that side's done, happy with that. Just enough mustard popping through, haven't we? Now I'll finish this side and over here I can drag, the mustard's on top there, so I can drag that through. Actually, no, I've lost all my black. Let's pop a little bit more black in here and there. So I did want a little bit more black. Just to offset all that charcoal, I was hoping for a little bit more black. Let's try with a thinner one here because I do want to leave some negative space. And you can go over the top like that, just with a little wispy one. Um, you don't have to have them all the same size, for sure. I'm just trying to introduce a little bit more black. And that one's missing because I haven't got enough paint on the side there. Just pop a little bit more of this base coat down here, I think. Just kind of run that through. Okay. How's that looking? Now I feel that this section here doesn't have enough black in it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of black and swipe with that. I just need that little bit of contrast. Look how lovely the black is against that um, mustard colour there. Okay. That's looking nice. I think we've got a good amount of the black, the white, the silver. It's a bit hard to see the silver because, you know, black and white make <laughs> grey, which is kind of silver anyway. Let's just have a nice little blob of 
mustard in the center here, eh? Oh, is that too much? <laughs> oh. All right. Now I feel like I need a little bit more mustard just through here. It's hard to know when you start, you know exactly what you're going to need, really. So it's just a matter of playing around with it. But as I said, just don't put too much paint on the surface because you can always add extra later on. Okay, that's my nice contrast there. So we've got some pale uh, mustard. We've got the dark blobs of mustard there. I think that looks really pretty. Uh, don't worry too much about your centre, you know, if it's sort of all maybe wobbly or some other colours in there. I think it adds to it. it adds to the interest. Alright, now I'm happy with that. What do you think? Do you like those colours? Um, on a big scale, I think I would use this and maybe a bigger one as well. Um, so that it wouldn't be as as busy I guess you'd have bigger blocks of color but that's basically the idea that I have in my head for my daughter's artwork uh, for Christmas I've got a she won't be watching this well I hope so <laughs> I don't think she watches my videos for Christmas I've got her some um, I can't get my gloves off <laughs> Uh, mustard towels and things like that for the granny flat so hopefully she'll like that but this isn't you know this painting's not going to be ready in time Christmas is next week but I just thought I'd have a little play and over the holidays while I've got a few weeks off work I can make her a painting Let's see if she likes that so what do you think of those colors maybe a Mm, see, I don't want to make it mustard painting. It's a grey painting with pops of mustard, which I think is, is fine. Um, see, the, the doors are white and the trims are white, so and it's going to be on a, white, uh, a, gray, a light grey wall. So I think that will look really nice, actually. I'm really happy with that. Not my colours at all, you know, mine are blues. But for her, I think, I think she'd really like these colours. Now we've got some pretty lacing happening. What do you think about the charcoal as a background as opposed to black as a background? Because I've never used charcoal before as a background. It's, uh, it will dry a little bit darker. Um, maybe I just need to introduce a little more black into the actual painting kind of lost it all it's a little bit over there but most of the black has been lost kind of got eaten up by all that charcoal <laughs> okay well let me know what you think of this one I love hearing all your feedback and your comments and uh, yeah, I'll have a, I don't know when I'll do it, uh, this painting for her. I'll probably leave it till after Christmas until I've got a little bit more time. Oh, you never know. Maybe I'll get it done quickly and then I can actually give it to her for Christmas. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. We'll see. Tomorrow's Sunday. Maybe I can paint tomorrow. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this one. Bye for now.